Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And today guys, I'm currently testing the new ICAP 89180 beta version. And this time guys, I already made a BGA PNP version of it. And let's see guys how this one performs. Of course, first we need to install the ICAP 8. If you already watch my ICAP 8 9150BGA PNP version, installation is the same. So it should be installed. Okay. And Stop the service. Exit. Then paste. Then we need to paste this one. I always back up the bar client update because sometimes I need some untouched file from from the original version so it's better to back up the bar client update start the service tray Okay, configuration wizard. We got the game this image. Right back. Okay. So I'm not importing a uh, image as, as I always do. I don't generate also a client. Apply. Okay. And stop all service. And and then we We edit the this config. So this config change the client symbol. Right, right changes, exit, and we start the service again. Okay. Server right, ID and this one, guys, is the 
PGA PNP driver collection. It's around 2 GB. And when extracted, it's around 6.2 gig. So here guys, we have P PGA PNP driver for Windows 7, both for AMD and NVIDIA. So all NVIDIA drivers are supported. But for the AMD, some drivers are not really supported like the legacy drivers from from HD 2000 to 4000 series and also we got the Windows 10 BGA driver so here on my image this so I already have an image for Windows 10 and Windows 7 and upgrade resources is not yet here so we need to generate first the upgrade resources what I usually do guys is I always make a dummy image just to make sure if my upgrade resources syncing function is working and then I generate client after making the dummy image and let's see if the upgrade sources will sync so it's only 96 MB so it's stuck on 96 MB then then after I'll be importing my my image import the image image this Windows 7 light Import, okay, import another one. Windows 10. Okay. Modify. Let's put the Windows 10 first. And then we need to register the client MAC address as you can see guys I already register one client actually I only have one client set up in this uh, demo let's check the upgrade sources So it went back to 69. So again, the upgrade sources did not sync properly. So if this one happens, what we do is we stop the iCafe 8 service. and we delete this upgrade resources folder and then we go to the icap 8 installation path bar server then look for the bar server ini file and edit 
the this from the and edit this one guys update to one so platform update from zero to one and then save and start all service and let's see if, if the upgrade resources will be generated again takes a little bit time or sometimes we need to open the client just to trigger the sync function so as you can see guys the upgrade resources is now syncing Now this one's look good enough. It's around 260, 357. Now it's sinking properly. Okay. So what we need to do now is to wait for the upgrade resources to sync and this one will be around 6, six gigabyte because guys the BGA PNP is around 6 gigabyte also. So what IcaPay does is syncing this whole data here to the upgrade resources now it's around 2.6 gig so this one will take time guys around around 10 minutes Sorry guys, I had problem with my audio and I'll just continue here. Here guys, uh, the client PC is now open and and the BGA PNP driver for the AMD RX 560 is loaded successfully we'll try to restart so here guys we'll be checking how fast the VGA PNP driver will load so assume the computer start as you can see guys it's really loaded automatically on the startup And next thing I'm gonna test guys is I will be switching the image from Windows 10 to Windows 7 and then restart the client PC. Windows 7. So 
So as you can see guys the drivers the BJP and P driver loaded really really fast and the next test guys is I'm gonna switch switch the card from AMD to a NVIDIA card okay I'll be shutting down this PC first and install the the NVIDIA card. So I already changed the card to a NVIDIA GT220. So guys, NVIDIA GT220 did load on startup and the NVIDIA control panel also works. And then uh, the last test is to switch also from Windows 7 to Windows 10 using the NVIDIA drivers and we reboot this PC see As you can see guys, the same with Windows 10, NVIDIA drivers load successfully and it's really fast. As you can see guys, uh, the drivers are being listed here on the Graphic PNP management. Here guys, we'll be conducting a simple network speed test. So, game this. We'll start to check the speed. As you can see, guys, 800 Mbps is really easy on this version. As you can see guys we have this straight line let's check also the load for the server side let's also check the load on the server side as you can see guys the load for the server side is also 800 MB PS Let's check the CPU usage Memory usage the LAN usage So sending speed as you can see guys this version is uh, really really fast using this version guys it's really recommended to use a multiple network card and try to configure teaming 
land teaming so i think i'll start this one no doubt guys that the performance really increase but this version is not really recommended for for a uh, low specs server so the performance also will vary on your on the specs of the server on the network okay also this is the the lag for this version the actual test of the 9180 version of Huawei master and pubwin upgrade partner is underway 10 core performance optimi optimization such as this less 10G speed increase more than 3 times BD6 expansion to 20G alright so those are the the two major changes so the network performance optimization is really obvious guys on this version that's why guys I've said it's better to use a multiple network card or a 10 gigabit uh, network card I think uh, that's it from now guys this one is just a beta test and I'm also looking forward for the for the official release of this version because it's because it's quite promising and next time I'll be testing this one on games and see how this one performs on games and thank you guys for watching and and if you're not subscribed yet please click the subscribe button and the bell button and i'll see you all guys in my next video